Guys, faces again. Um, it's time for another real quick video. I, oh God, well, dudes, come, come on, come on. It's just a video. I've, I've already done a few of these. They're really, they're really not a big deal, guys. Cut it out. Cut it out. Oh man. Oh, you guys are too kind. You know. Anyway, I'm gonna try to make this video as short as I can. My last couple ran way too long. Um, so let me just dive right in. I'm gonna show you just a couple things right quick. I guess first of all. I should point out because it became apparent that I guess not everybody has noticed, but these see this little this little line below your trackpad. That's a to the left of it and to the right of it. The, those are actually mouse buttons, like left and left and right click. Just so you know. Uh, and also, you know what I I saw in a video where someone had mentioned this, and I thought, well, duh. And then I tried it, and it's great. Using this on a lap. People have been kind of complaining about how hard it is to use on a lap. But you know what? If you flip this around like that, you know, I had been just taking the cover off and trying to just use this, you know. But if you just flip this around and use it like that, it's fantastic. It works really well. So if you've not been trying that, give it a shot. Okay, uh, okay so I had someone ask how to skip through the sign on screen when you start your computer. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick for those of you that don't feel like you want to have a password on there. Uh, this will be for you. But uh, So I guess the command we're going to want is N-E-T-P-L-W-I-Z N-E-T-P-L-W-I-Z uh, Hit enter and just make sure that this will be checked. I've already undone it but uh, Uncheck the users must enter username and password to use this computer. Uncheck it, hit apply. You will put in your password. Um, if I can remember mine. And you will put it in again. Hopefully I did that right. And that's it. Here's what will happen when you restart. Now, if you lock the screen, it's still going to put the password on there because you're locking the screen. But for restarts, it works pretty well. And then after this, I'm going to show you just one more thing, I think. Let me think. Well, there's two more things. One really, really quick thing, and then I will show you how to put uh, what they call God Mode on here, which a lot of you, I guess, will already know about, but a couple of you won't. It's pretty cool, so I will show you. Do, 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 do. There we go. All right, so here we go. There it is. That's how that works. Okay, uh, so you know how you can press the Windows key here the and volume down to take a screenshot? If I can do it like that. All right. Just so you know, if you press this guy again and press the power button, you will get lock, switch user, sign out, or task man, uh, manager window, along with your shutdown options down here and your accessibility settings. And the last thing I'm going to show you to see if we can make this video under five minutes is God mode. Basically, what you do is you go to your desktop, you create a new folder. And you rename it the following. I'm not going to read this whole thing to you, but it's God mode dot and then a bunch of stuff, which I, of course, will link to. But you name it all this. Rename. And bam. You'll see that it makes the, it would have left it there, but I already had it, so, you know. But basically, it renames it God Mode, gives it this little icon. When you go into it, it's basically all of your settings kind of grouped into one place. It's pretty big. It's a large list. I don't think there's too much secret stuff in here, but it is handy, and you might want to play with it. So, you know. Check it out. See what you think. I tried to put it in the start menu to get it to show here. Uh, it doesn't seem to want to work, but if I figure it out, I'll let you know. All right, guys. That's five minutes. Thanks.